Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I'm going to give you some writing tips and today we're going to talk about writing anonymously. Anonymity. It's a hard word to say. It's a weirder word to spell. God damn it. It's something that people do. Today in talking and this goes back to um, the comments I got from KO. KO wanted to know, wanted me to talk more about writing anonymously. So here's the thing. There are a couple reasons why one person would write anonymously. And I'm going to give you a couple of the reasons why I have written anonymously in the past. And then we will talk more about that. Now, writing anonymously or writing with a pen name, you have to decide which one of these you want. Because the idea of writing with a pen name is you still want to promote the work. You want to let everyone know about the work. You want to do the marketing for the work. But you just don't want it to be connected to your real life birth name for whatever reason. Okay, And for a long time I was like this. I did not want any of my creative shit to like spill into my real life or any of my real life to spill into my creative shit. And um, as someone who wrote under pen names and stage names for a long time, and then who has been doing it under my name for a long time too, I'm here to tell you that at least in my experience, nothing has changed. Like there hasn't been any like negative shit that came from that. I guess what I would say that um, something that was kind of tricky was like separating my social media was the hardest thing. Like I had my like artist social media accounts, but like my family wanted to add me on that so they could like tag me in family photos. But at the same time, my family didn't want to be, like, considered public figures. So that caused some shit, if that makes any sense. But now, reasons why you would want to do this. If you have some, like, legal reason why you don't want anyone to know who you are, then definitely use a pen name. Or write anonymously. And when I mean write anonymously, I say that in the sense that you are not going to be doing any marketing for this. You are writing something to put it out there and to walk away from. I look at that as A, leaving money on the table, and B, not having enough faith in yourself. So we're going to assume you're going to write under a pen name, okay? So, um, like, like I said, if there's some legal shit and you don't want these two worlds to mix, I, I see that. When I was doing it, I was doing it because I came to prominence, I guess the best way you could fucking say it, because I was in this band called Creeperson, okay? We've talked about this before, and everyone in the band had a stupid name, like a fake name, so it was like, I was Creep Creeperson from Creepsville, Creepsachusetts, okay? Um, and then there was like... Mop, Mr. Mundo, Stitchblade, The Shank, Rocky Horror Nandez, Valdez, who else was in it? Scobie Doo, who hated that name. I thought it was funny. Um, he wanted that name changed immediately. G Graves, Zom D, Greg Yard, and then the last new member of the band that we had was Dirge was the last drummer we had. So anyway, so we all had fake phony names. So through that, I was doing Creeperson. I started putting out solo albums under Creep Creeperson. I started making music videos for Creeperson and for other bands that were on the label. And that turned into me directing films. And so I was also writing books under Creep Creeperson that fell under the horror genre and all this other shit. And then the Creep Creeperson name became a bigger deal making movies than it ever was with doing music. So again, I'm still using this name because that's what I was called the week before. And I didn't know how to fucking get out of it. 
And then when I started like writing books seriously, like a lot of people would leave like reviews like, oh, and this creep creeperson, if that even is his real name. It's like, are you fucking with me, dude? So then I tried to like merge the two and I wanted to do something that was my real name, but still I could bring the fan base over that I had built up with the creep creeperson name. So I did this stupid thing, and I regret it now, but I was going by C.C. Wall. And I remember this guy's like, yeah, C.C.'s a girl's name, another author friend of mine. I'm like, what are you talking about? You know, C.C., that's a girl's name. I'm like, it's C dot space, C dot space. It stands for Creep Creeperson Wall. Like, C.C. Wall. Like, J.K. Rowling. What the fuck is wrong with you? What part of this do you not get? And um, a bunch of people just assumed that C.C. Wall was a woman. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But that was not what my intent was. So then, because I was doing so many different genres, I'm kind of always wanting to publish and be like have company companies and all this other fucking shit. I started a publishing house called Gold Metal Faucet. And I'll probably do a whole video on Gold Metal Faucet at a later date. But to make it seem like Gold Metal Faucet had a lot more going on than it did, every genre I had a different name for. So um, my like hard-boiled detective shit was Mick Hunter. Um, C.C. Wall was doing the Black Star stuff. Um, Denton Moore was doing the um, action pulp stuff. Uh, James Ian Carter was doing the um, men's adventure stuff. Uh, Vic Lord was doing the horror stuff. Uh, Zoe Shea was doing the cozy stuff. Um, Alan Edwards was doing the kind of gothic stuff. Uh, what else did I have? Oh, Leon Stickley was doing the crime stuff. I'm sure there were others. Um, I had a bunch, and I put out a couple anthologies. I uh, was just, like, putting out tons of shit under all these different names. And that did absolutely nothing, mainly because I didn't have the fucking manpower or willpower to be able to push all of these separate entities and do mailing lists for each one and do social media for each one and do all this shit. So finally, I just said, you know what? Fuck it. Like, I'm fucking Matt Wall and I'm going to be fucking Matt Wall for everything. And that's where we are right now. So again, going through this, like there has not been any negative ramifications for me doing this under my real name. Will there be in the future? Maybe. I have no idea. Will somebody um, find my address and like stand at my front door in their underwear with a Polaroid camera? Possibly. Will I think that's a bad thing? I don't know. It sounds kind of interesting. I have tougher skin than a lot of people, so um, you got to do something fucking nuts for me to fucking be like, oh my god. So, um, I don't know. But, like, another reason why this came up was because on um, a stream I did, somebody said they had just written some chat books anonymously and were posting them around town. The reason why they were anonymous was because it was kind of political in nature and the views expressed in it. Um, kind of were not um, the views that the majority of the people in that area had. So I completely understand that. You know, it's it's not a big thing. Like, um, I'll, I'll say this. My kid published a bunch of stuff an, um, anonymously. And it was mainly because my kid was a minor and didn't want to, like, um, I don't know, deal with any of that shit. Because they didn't care. They just were writing a bunch and wanted to put stuff out. So, um, and that was not even a conversation we had. It was just my kid going, yeah, I think I'll do this anonymously. Because I'm doing it anyway. So, what the fuck? Who cares? So, I mean, there are reasons to do it. But 
again, I would need to know what your reason for doing it is. Like, why would you want to be anonymous? So my question to you guys watching this is, have you ever written under pen names or actually published anything anonymously? And if so, if you feel comfortable talking about it, tell me why. And if it's something that um, I feel warrants a video, we could actually talk about it. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, if you want more writing tip videos, there should be a box somewhere around here that has more writing tip videos in it. Um, if you want to take the Poetic Anarchy course, the first five um, lessons for free, go to PoeticAnarchy.com and knock yourself out and send me the work you do. I would love to take a look at it. And then if you dig doing that and you want more, like a hundred videos worth more, fucking click the join button, join the fucking anarchy crew and be a big swinging fucking dick. Okay, now go out and get tonight because these are not going to last forever. These are actually selling fairly, fairly well. Um, and there's only 50 of these and I'm already. We're almost halfway through them, so I don't know how much longer those are going to last. So get over to my Etsy shop, pick that up. Type hard, everybody. And I will talk to you later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.